Even with the Bank of Canada's recent warning that this country's economy would be atrocious in the first part of 2015, its updated assessment today that the economy has stalled still hurt. All the same, its governor, Stephen Poloz, says he's decided to leave the bank's key lending rate unchanged. And he sounded an optimistic note. Outside of the energy sector, other areas of the economy appear to be doing well. But just as Poloz was saying that, the world's biggest selling automaker was announcing its moving production of its most popular model out of Canada. Another sign of the new economic reality in Canada. The economy has always had a major focus for us on the national, and now even more so. Over the next several months, in this election year, we'll take a closer look at how the economy is or is not working for you. Are you just surviving, or are you thriving? So we begin tonight with that new Bank of Canada outlook. Here's the CBC's Catherine Cullen. How are you enjoying the bisque? When the price of oil tanks, it's not just the oil fields that feel the pinch. Just ask the manager of this Calgary steakhouse. The oil field service side, um, which is where we used to see a lot of business come in, kind of that corporate lunch and uh, uh, dinner, um, definitely seen that drop off. A drop that goes well beyond Alberta. The governor of the Bank of Canada recently called the beginning of 2015 atrocious. Today, he was a little more cautious in describing the economy. Um, poor. And now there are new numbers to back that up. Canada's economy was expected to grow 1.5% at the start of this year, already a pretty modest goal. But in fact, the bank now says it's a big fat zero, no growth at all. It's clear a lot of the blame falls back on those plummeting oil prices. The bank says it appears the pain from falling oil prices is front-loaded. That means we're feeling it acutely right now, but overall, the impact should be about what the bank had expected. Or so the bank hopes. Is the oil price shock having a bigger effect or just a faster effect? That is the key uh, thing that we have to assess. The bank says it expects the situation to start to improve in a few months. Not in the oil and gas sector, but in exports like machinery and equipment sales, aerospace and pharmaceuticals, which could benefit from a low dollar. By the middle of the year, we should be seeing only the good stuff. But while there's reason for optimism, everyone acknowledges a rebound is not a sure oh, thing. There is a lot of doubt. There's a lot of uncertainty. And, and I think the uncertainty itself is, is one of the reasons why uh, uh, the economy is not performing very well. How's it going? Back at the steakhouse, they're trying to figure out how to manage between now and that improvement. Similar to what we're seeing in the oil fields, you know, trying to maybe cut back a few shifts here and there and whatnot, but keep as many people on as we can so that things do recover, and they will. Um, we've still got that great kind of structure. And the Bank of Canada's governor himself admits it's hard to know when the worst of the oil price shock will be over. So stay tuned. The bank says the hope is that by the end of 2016, Canada's economy will be back in robust territory. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.